My name is Siyang and I'm delighted to be here today to talk to you about travel. Um, before I start, uh, I want to share this photo with you. Please enjoy the view. <laughs> I took this photo at the top of the Pala Mountain in Korea. It took five hours to climb up mountain and it was very tough for me, but I can say I really enjoyed it. Do you enjoy traveling? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Enjoy traveling? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I think most of most of people travel in the same way with their friends or family members. But I think they may have trouble with them while planning travel. Uh, it could be fun or totally exhausting. But going it alone, going it alone is a completely different thing in a good way. Today, I'm going to talk about how to enjoy traveling alone. The first time I did it was on a bike. I rent a bike and learned how to ride. I ride a bike around the island for three days by myself. Uh, because I'm not a good driver, I, I bumped and crashed against the curves and <laughs> everything was the first time ever. At that time, I, I didn't have smartphone so I couldn't find the route on Google Maps. I, I just, I only had paper map. To make it worse, it started laying and I have to hurry and speed up. It, it, it is like an out of body experience. After that first ex experience, I have enjoyed more than solo, solo adventures. So, solo adventures. Alone, you are, you are free to experience that happens around you without distraction. Okay, let's go to the point. Today, today, I want to tell you three main points to enjoy traveling alone. First, be a backpacker. Second, stay at hostels. And finally, try something new. Then let's check the things you should do. Be a backpacker. Please, uh, you should be a backpacker and you should bring a backpack. But uh, pack light. This is mine and I used uh, summertime for 10 days and I used it winter time four days. And maps. Plan and map out your days so you don't spend too much time wondering where you should go. Timetables for public transportations. Or you, you can just search internet on your phone. However, going with the flow. If you feel like sitting at a cafe all afternoon, Enjoy yourself. There is no rule, so you can enjoy yourself alone. Um, you have all your belongings, and let's move on to the next steps. Stay at hostels. Stay at uh, hostels are the best way to making new friends. First, clean and affordable. 
uh, stay at a clean and neat hostel you can afford. It makes it makes you feel comfortable, and and you can eat by yourself. This is a uh, this is a guest house near Hala Mountain. Make your friend make friends with yourself. If you if you make friends by yourself, you will never be alone. Take part in tours. In Korea, there is a in in Korea's hostels, uh, there is a there is some free free tours in hostels like this. You can go on with other people and enjoy other activities. And sometimes you will, will meet people, eat together, and drink together. And finally, I want to recommend you try something new. First one is paragliding. You can uh, you can fly in the sky. This is me about two years ago. Yeah, I enjoyed it very much. And river bugging. River bugging is like a rafting. You can also enjoy rafting yourself. And finally, mountain climbing. You can also climb mountain at the top of the mountain and you can also enjoy mountain with your new friends. So you under so now you understand the way to enjoy traveling alone. So to summarize the main points of my talk, first be a backpacker, second stay at hostels, and finally try something new. When you travel alone, you you meet people here and there, and also it is good chance to find yourself. You are happy with yourself, confident over happy happy within yourself, confident of your capabilities, and take this as an opportunity to prove yourself and your character. Character. Uh, then challenges can be overcome, and you will enjoy your alone time. Thank you for listening.